this is see this is the what we call the Islamic dilemma. The updated version. That's what we believe. Updated version? There, there was another version before this? No Jesus, no Muhammad, nobody. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. There's no reason for us to go back and forth and say, look. You're wrong and I'm right or I'm wrong and you're right. Well, somebody's wrong here because we don't believe the same thing. Somebody's wrong. The, uh, Christ forgiveness. Christ forgiveness. Christ forgiveness. Christ forgiveness ministry. Christ forgiveness ministry. Christ forgiveness ministry. And I don't know them, but I'm saying I'm going to know that. I the okay, son of okay. God died on the cross for our sins and rose again from the dead. But you don't believe that as a Muslim. So this is, see, this is the, what we call the Islamic dilemma because it endorses the Bible in one sense, right. but then it discredits the Bible in another right. sense. Right. Can't check oh, it, says, <laughs> it says that uh, if you are in them. doubt concerning what is therein, ask the people of the book, which is obviously the Jews and the Christians. And it says, yeah. another verse says that you stand on nothing if you don't uphold the Torah and the Gospels. And we, so, so, so now. There's, there's translations with the Bible. No one was around in that time, right? There were different collections of, of different apostles that put together the Bible. There's multiple different translations. That actually helps their authenticity of the Bible, actually. Yeah, no, no one has the original. It's like no one has the original copy of the Torah. Huh? I agree. No one, and that is the truth. And so, when, when I tell Muslims, you know, uh, that. Okay, yeah, we, we have we have scriptural variations, we have manuscript variations. It's the same thing with the Quran, but but they but 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 Muslims but Muslims say no, no, we always had one one version of the Quran, one stream for all time, and it was never and that's and but that's exactly what that's exactly what's with the Bible, even though there's there's certain differences that we can talk about, but that's what we mean that the Bible the Bible's never corrupted. You know, so it's, it's it's a double standard. But this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted to ask you. You know, before about the gospel and the Torah being in actual Muhammad's time. So, in obviously, I read points to those verses. So that means that God is telling Muslims and Muhammad to go to the gospel and the Torah, which is obviously not corrupted because He's telling you to go to those scriptures. So, my the the, the problem is with that is that we have the very same manuscripts that was in existence at the time of Muhammad. What Muhammad read in his time, or, or what they were saying to him about, about the, the Bible, the Torah and the Gospels, is the same thing that we have today. In Muhammad's time, the Gospel message was always, and this is the Injil, that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what the gospel said in Muhammad's time. That's what uh, your God is saying to Muhammad to go to, that very same gospel and the Torah as well that prophesizes about the gospel. So, 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 hold on. So, so my question is, when you when Muslims say that the that the gospel and the Torah is corrupted when was it corrupted because we still have in possession what Muhammad had access to in that's his right. time so that's, that's my question right. when when that's was it corrupted right. if it if it ever was corrupted that's right do, 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 do you understand the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, when, when was the Torah and the, and the, the gospel corrupted? So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so just, just to clarify, when was it corrupted? Because in Muhammad's time, the same Torah and gospel that Muhammad had access to, we have today. So it's the same. It's the same message. We have it. It's, 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 it's historical. Hold on. It's, hold on. Hold on. It's historical. We have the manuscripts. The same manuscript that 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 uh, Muhammad had. We have today. It's the same message. So that's why my question is: When when was it corrupted? I love I love to see Google images 
the year that the manuscript that you have and compare it to the same body. Quran test. Yeah, you can actually keep that for yourself. We don't, we don't oppose hold on, hold on, Jesus. Hold on, hold on. We don't oppose Jesus. We say Jesus is a prophet and he's on the same level. He, he went to the seventh heaven. He went to the uh, highest heaven. Right? We believe that. The same place that Muhammad went to. Muhammad was a prophet just like Jesus. They were both messengers of Allah. Like everyone. But we see this. We don't, we don't believe that Jesus was the son of God. Neither do we believe Muhammad was the son of God. So we don't want to believe God. So we're gonna, that, that is something that we're going to disagree on. But there's no reason for us to go back and forth and say, look, you're wrong and I'm right, or I'm wrong and you're right. Well, somebody's wrong here because we don't believe the same thing. Somebody's wrong. So it's good to have these conversations. Obviously, you know, we, we do it without hatred, without violence. But I'm not trying to convert you. I know there's a lot of other Muslims. I'm saying that all, multiple different religions, the dawah, different religions are a past of God, and religions are religions are, are, religions are, are, religions are, yeah, religions are value systems that humans can take and, and have a community amongst them and have a different community and follow in, 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 uh, in unison, in unison. Yeah. So, is, so I want to, I want to, I want to ask you a question. This before I get to it, I do want to get to everybody. But is there a Quranic verse or passage anywhere that 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 says that people from other religions can actually get to God without actually following Islam? All right. So all you have is your opinion at this moment. Not, not. Okay. So that's that's just an opinion. So that that even may not be true. What what you're saying? Because we have. If, if you believe the Quran is the word of God, you have to base it on the word of God, right? Same question. Same question. Same question you ask them. I want to ask you that question. Ask the Christianity. Is it the only way? Yes. That's Jesus is the only way. The same thing we believe. Islam is the only way. It's the final religion. The updated version. That's what we believe. Updated version? There was another version before? It was the Torah. It was the Torah. And then the Bible. I want to ask you a question about the Torah. What does the Torah say about having forgiveness of sins? Do, do you know by any chance? I'm not a religious person. I'm not a religious person. I'm not like a religious person. So, so, okay. Okay, so, but you're, you're commanded in the Quran to believe in the Torah, right? Yes, yes, yes. I, I just quoted the verse. Hold, hold on, hold on, no. Hold on, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to him. Because they're actually here before you. So, Okay, okay, I'm gonna go there, but I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say a, a quick point. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. The the hey, difference between Orthodox Christianity and and Protestants. Well, Protestant comes from the actual Reformation with Martin Luther, John Calvin, and they basically it was it just to because it, it, it's a lot of information, but in general. They, it was former Catholics who were coming away from the Catholic Church. That's why they were called Protestant. They were protesting the Catholic Church because they were teaching things that were that were not in the Bible. So that's where Protestants come from. That's why the whole uh, the actual Reformation came about. Um, but I, I did want to tell you something about the Torah. And, and I, since you don't know what the Torah says or whatever, it says in the Torah in in the book of in the book of Leviticus, which Moses Moshe wrote, he's, uh, in in uh, in chapter seventeen, verse eleven, it says that um, it says that the only um, it says that the only way to have atonement for your soul is through blood. To have atonement means to have to to be at at peace with God or to make at one with God. So, um, the actual Torah says in in uh, the book of Leviticus, chapter seventeen, verse eleven, that the life of the flesh is in the blood. And he said, "I've given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul." So God is saying to Moses and the people of Israel, it is through blood by which people can receive the forgiveness of sins. So at that time, obviously, if you, well, you say you didn't know, but there was, there were Jewish priests at the time, priests, and they were, they were, uh, the, the, the people used to come to the priests 
to uh, give them the the, the the lamb and the and the and the and the goats and the bulls for offering for sin. So these innocent animals, they were slaughtered on behalf of the people so that through their blood they can receive forgiveness god was doing that that was that god was doing that at the time but jesus one of his one of his titles in fact uh john the baptist if you're a muslim know about yaya uh you know john d mercer he called jesus the lamb of god that takes away the sins of the world in hebrew i don't know how it is in arabic because i don't speak arabic or uh, neither hebrew but in hebrew the word is the pesach kaves our, our passover lamb so 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 this is why i ask how do you receive forgiveness of sins in islam if god already said to moses and all the children of israel that the way to receive atonement for your souls is through blood this is a question. You have to be religious. You you still consider yourself a Muslim, right? I was says to be forgiven. We pray to God. We ask for forgiveness. We don't ask for no Jesus, no Muhammad, nobody. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for forgiveness, and that's how Allah forgives us. We repent to God, Him alone. No son, no brother, no uncle, no cousin, no grandfather. God alone. We repent to Him. We say, Allah, forgive us. Ask, give us forgiveness. May we, may you give us forgiveness. That's how we ask for forgiveness. We don't ask nobody else. Okay. So, so why did John the Baptist call Jesus the Lamb of God? Forget about John. Forget about Jesus. Forget about Muhammad. Forget about all of these prophets. We believe in God alone. Nobody. Else, the unknown, the unseen, we don't know how he looks like. We he don't have a son, he don't have a father, he don't have nobody. He's alone, God, the unknown, the unseen. That's who we believe. Well, that that that, that would that would seem that would seem like a big problem because the God that you believe in told Moses and the children of Israel that atonement, the forgiveness of sins, comes through blood. So if if God God does not change, so I know that he so I know that he's not gonna change now, so therefore you still need blood because the, the God, you say that God is the same one that spoke to Moses and all that so 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 I was, so, so that's why so that's why so that's why I wanted so that's why I wanted hold on man I'm, I'm talking to him stop being rude that's kind of rude I'm, I'm talking to him relax um, so 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 God so God doesn't change so therefore he still requires blood so that you can have forgiveness of sins so what you're saying is God changed he changed his mind and now we don't need blood and and I could just ask forgiveness and I can just Go to heaven and just and just do whatever. But it is it ain't that way. If you repent, if you repent and believe, yes, if you repent and believe on Jesus Christ. So that means all sins are forgiven, right? Not automatically. You have to repent and believe.